All right, Hillcrest, well, we're going to take you through uh, the squat and some progressions into completing a full squat. So squats you use every day, right? Getting down on your couch, getting on the floor, reading greens, um, many different things. So we want to be able to squat. So if we're coming off an injury or just getting back in the gym, let's do it the right way. So a couple checkpoints to start off. Um, and then I'll go into the first progression of the squat. So I set people up, heels about shoulder width apart, and then toes flared out. I go not quite about a 45 degree angle. Um, this is going to be up to you and what's most comfortable. And if you were in a training session, we'd fix that. I could you know, check with different angles on where your knees and your hips are going. Um, but just start heels shoulder width apart and then feet flare it out slightly and from here we want our knees to rotate and go outward okay as we go down what that does is as soon as I rotate my knees just a little bit out that activates the glutes okay we want the glutes on we want them working for us okay if we had too much weight going forward then all my weight is coming here into my knees really quad dominant we want glutes to help us do this move okay and then when we open up our our knees opens up our hips allows us to sit down a little bit easier okay so now once we're there uh, let's go into the progressions so grab a box or a chair for the first one and we're going to see if can we just sit down onto the box and then stand up if we can great if not we're going to use some kind of assist. I have a band, uh, any kind of rope or anything at home will work. Um, but if you're using a band, make sure it's a nice tight one and then you don't completely rely on the band. Okay, we want to make it as natural as possible. So remember that setup. Heel, shoulder width, feet flared out slightly. Just have a little tension on the band. And that way I can use a little bit of upper body to help pull myself up. Again, if we need to raise or lower the height of the box as we go along here. So I'm going to grab a small weight, even a uh, gallon of milk or something will work. I'm going to use this as a counterbalance. So as I go down, I'm going to press this weight out in front of me. And now since I have weight out here, essentially I'm going to be able to feel like I can sit straight up or even lean back into the squat. Um, Whereas some of us, if we're first starting to squat, we might want to get up and you'll find yourself leaning forward like this and losing posture. So this counterbalance weight is going to keep us more upright as we go down. Look straight forward. So this is a good way to train your body in the proper position and prevent yourself from squatting and feeling like this and coming forward. It's going to keep you upright. Keep your body in a better position. So now we're rid of that, got rid of that counterbalance. I'll use just a little bit heavier weight. I'm still going to stay on the box, okay, and adjust the height if needed. Working on good form. Looking straight forward. I'll give you a different angle here. My knees are driving out, opening up the hips, getting the glutes turned on. Okay, exploding up, control down, explode up. Okay, now once we feel like we can just tap the box instead of completely sit on it, once we feel like we can tap it, now we're gonna start to step away from the box. So if you need to, you can start all the way back with the bands, just without the box. You can do the counterbalance, and then you can come to a weighted squat. Okay, so here, Oh. Again, with the counterbalance, if you need, just press that weight out a little bit further out in front of you to help you keep yourself more upright. Here. Okay. And then from here, we can add more weight at our chest um, and progress from there. And then once we're ready, we take you to the barbell. So there's many steps before we get here that we need to know that we can accomplish. Uh, before we put a barbell either on our back or at, like I like to do is up on my shoulders or up on my uh, upper chest I should say. So make sure we're learning that properly. 
Uh, come into the gym when we open back up. Uh, we'll take you through a squat progression and see how you're going. Thanks for watching.